When I created my very own club in FIFA, the goal was clear to become the world's best club. And last season, we did the impossible, winning the Premier League for the first time ever. That makes us England's best club, but to become the world's best club, we need to win the Champions League. But this is not going to be easy. Last season, we got absolutely humbled by PSG. This time around, though, things are different. We've got bigger sponsors, more transfer budget, and of course, new signings. With all of that combined, this could be our chance to make S2GFC Champions League winners and the world's best club. The journey to become the best begins now. Here we go, the best creator club series on YouTube is back for one more season. That's right, this could be the final season, our final chance of getting Callum Berry, Raul Lopez and all the other club legends a Champions League trophy. We're going to do everything possible to make S2GFC the world's best club. To do that though, we need to build a squad that's capable of winning the Champions League. As of now, I think we do have a very strong team, that's why we won the Premier League. But we've also have to endure quite a lot. Last season and we had players like Mukiele, Dave Scarlett, Job Bellingham all betray us and leave for Man City. That definitely weakened our squad and so this season we need to reinvest money and improve the team so we're ready. Because the Champions League ain't going to be easy. We saw what PSG did to us last season. We need to be prepared. And so it's now time to do a bit of admin stuff to figure out our sponsors and finances for the season ahead. First of all, our Emirates deal has come to an end. I'm not sure whether we want to renew with them but but there was a clause in that contract. We win the Premier League and we get 30 million as a bonus. And boom, there you go. We've just got that money in. Similarly with Nike, who were our sponsor for last season, they had an objective for us. Reach the Champions League semi-finals and we'll get an additional 30 million. And guess what, guys? We've pulled that off. So without signing any deals for the following season, we've got 60 million in the bank already. About our sponsors for this season, Nike have come in with a really good contract. They will to give us 80 million for the season ahead that is insane and i'm not thinking about this i'm straight up signing with them i've had no issues with nike at all with that our budget for the season is up to 140 million if we can secure a big shirt sponsor oh my days about the shirt sponsor if you guys have been following me on my instagram you guys will know i was in baku for the f1 grand prix last week while you guys might think i was there just chilling holidaying and vibing no 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 that was an s2 gfc work trip i went there to secure a new sponsor and guess what we managed to pull it off red bull were willing to sponsor s2 gfc and they're willing to offer us 60 million for the season ahead we thank emirates for supporting the club but now i think it's a chance to get a new sponsor more money in we're taking this deal and so we have the biggest budget in the history of this entire club 200 million to spend if we use it right i think we can win the champions league also we gotta have some new drip if we're gonna win the champions league so it's time to reveal our new kits for the season did i mention kits well if you guys want to get your s2 gfc kits now is the perfect time we've just restocked the limited edition kit the kit sizes were completely out of stock in like a couple of days but now they're back and be quick you guys can get yours as well we've also restocked some of the og kits you guys can get both of the kits together and you'll get yourself a cheeky discount the final season boys the club needs your support buy the kits now links will be in the description s2gfc.com get your kit starting off with our third kit for the season we've gone for a cream edition i think it looks pretty awesome and tell you what the red bull logo oh boy does it look good my boy ibsen rossi launching the new kit for us i think this is a banger absolute banger and we're revealing our away kits for the season oh i do like that golden premier league badge as well but oh it's such a cool design man something completely different bit of you know a bit of purple in there a bit of light blue a lot of shades kind of reminds me of bubblegum the bubblegum edition s2 gfc kit what are we saying boys i absolutely love this and finally we've got our red bull edition home kit a bit of darker blue than usual but i freaking love it i love how the name looks behind and of course the red bull logo looks brilliant we're ready with the drip for the season ahead all right boys we're done with all the admin stuff we've got our sponsors we've got the crazy money as well it's now time to build a squad that can win the champions league first thing 
things first, I've got to make it clear. We've got an incredible team and that's exactly why we've won the Premier League. But to win the Champions League, we need to do things a bit differently. You guys saw what happened against PSG last season. They scored goals against us for fun. Hence this season, I'm making it a point to stick with the 4-3-3 formation for the entire season. I think this is the kind of formation you need to have control in a Champions League game. But I'm also thinking, is Fagioli good enough to be that CDM? I really enjoyed having Enzo Fernandez play that role. So I'm thinking we put Berry back in the team, give him that armband because he deserves it, and have Enzo in that CDM role. This is kind of what I'm looking to build upon. Now in this window, I'm thinking we could really do with a world-class centre-back. I would say a goalkeeper, but guys, McGinty is so freaking good. Do we need to? I don't think so. But I'm also thinking maybe a better midfielder than Berry could add some value to the team. So there's a lot we need to do, but I'm kind of unsure because the team is actually very good on the pitch. And you know what will give us a good idea? Well, the FA Community Shield final. To be honest, guys, this is not really the most important of trophies. Let's be real. But we can use this game to get an idea of where our team is. And that can help us decide what kind of improvements we need to make to win the Champions League. And also, we're once again meeting Joe Bellingham and Mukiele, who will want nothing more than beating us. Before we play another final, take a look at our trophy cabinet right now. We've got the Premier League trophy in here which looks absolutely beautiful. The FA Cup as well. In fact, two FA Cups, a Europa League. We've done incredibly well. We haven't ever won the Community Shield, so I can't wait to have that put right at the top left. And of course, in the future, the Champions League. Now, while you are checking out the trophy cabinet, you guys can maybe get yourself a kit or two. They're back in stock. Shamelessly plugging it again. But there you go, boys. Represent S2GFC. Okay, I'm going to use this game really well to just figure out what do we need to win the Champions League. City is like the perfect team to, you know, figure out what your team is lacking with. Can't lie, this season, Man City feel completely different. I mistimed that, but Scalvini saves the day. Man City are looking really good in this one. Oh, this is turning out being really bad chance, and McKinney with another save. We're getting completely dominated. We haven't been able to keep the ball at all. Joe Bellingham again on the ball. Good tackle from Balde. We do not want Joe Bellingham to have an impact on this game. Absolutely not. We're somehow surviving right now, but no, Vitinha scores. Man City are looking so much better than last season. The Premier League winners are a goal down. Pedro Goncalves again. What? We're 2-0 down. This isn't looking like us from last season. We're getting outclassed, outplayed by Man City. A team we actually beat last season. Callum Berry is just not able to compete. Maybe we do need something more in midfield. Oh boy, this is turning out to be really bad. Oh, Machado is broken through and we've got a chance to get something back in this one. Machado cutting it back for Burns and it's a simple tap in. Darren Burns gets our first goal of the season in the brand new kits as well as Red Bull sponsor the club. There you go. We're back in this. Bro, Joe Bellingham just annoys me. Every touch he makes. Oh, now he's played it through to Mukiel, another former player. Look at them cut through our team. The two former s gfc players causing havoc Bruh. here. What is Ibsen Rossi doing on the floor? They might score. No, McGinty saves it. Oh, Vinicius, Vinicius. That is absolutely brilliant. Vinicius Jr. Easy. Couldn't get the shot off. That was such a good run. Oh, there's a Man City player down. Is that Joe Bellingham? No, it isn't. Would have been nice. Should be saying that, but not gonna lie. There you go. A City player getting injured. It's, it's all heating up in this big game against City in the Community Shield final. Time is running out. We need something extra. And you know the player we bring on in these situations. Holmes Jr. is coming on. No, 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 no. Man City nope. broken through. McGinty. What a save. Bro, he's kept us alone. Live. Vinicius, lovely ball for Baldi. This is our chance here. Baldi, cut back inside. No, I thought that was it. Time is running out. Vinicius Jr. looking really quick here. That is more like it. Vinicius sees the passing options open up. Dara Burns looking for Holmes Jr. What can he do from here? Goes for the back pass. We're moving the ball around nicely. Raul Lopez, no place to shoot and are oh, cleared away. But we tried, boys. We really did try in this game. Man City were just a level above us and fair enough. They've just been in the Premier League winners from last season. Ah, there's still a lot to improve and the good thing is we do have that 200 million which we can use. It is indeed annoying to see Mukiele and Bellingham lift this trophy. But hey, what it has done is put a plan in my head. I know what I need 
need to do to make our team ready to win the Champions League. But just as I was heading into the dressing room, I meet Joe Bellingham yet again. <laughs> how does it feel now, Sid? The world will find out how big of a fraudulent manager you are. This is just the start. After speeding you in the community shield, I'm going to crush you in the Premier League and the Champions League as well. Good to see that you haven't changed one bit, Joe. Don't forget, you're talking to the Premier League winners. We all know that was a complete fluke. Machado carried your team. It's going to be interesting when Machado... Oops, I'm, I'm not going to say anything more. You'll see. Machado, what? Wonder what was spelling him talking about Machado. Anyway, spelling him has pissed me off yet again. Remember we had a plan, boys? To get back at Joe Bellingham? And I think it's time to execute that. There will be nothing better for us than to sign Jude Bellingham, Job's brother. Oh, it will piss him off so much. Let's freaking do it, boys. I'm sure Jude also wants to shut up his brother as much as everyone else. He's annoying. Let's try and sign Jude Bellingham to S2 GFC. And of course, what a way this will be to get back at Job. To be honest, not just that. If you look at how good Jude is, it's, it's freaking crazy. He's going to be one of the best players I think we'll ever sign. We have the 200 million to pull this off. Let's flip and do this. Okay, how much am I going to have to pay for this? I want to try and keep this deal somewhat sane so we have money left for any other endeavors we've got. Well, looks like we're going to have to shell out at least about 140, 160 million. Okay, let's chuck in 140 and just see what they say next. Ooh, 150 million works for Jude Bellingham. This will be one of our most expensive transfers of all time. But what a player this is that we're bringing to S2 GFC and look at that. 145 million works. Oh my God. All we need to do is have a conversation with Jude and convince him that S2 GFC is the right call for him. Okay, Jude, let me make this clear. I'm not just signing you to get back at your little brother, Joe, but I think you're one of the best midfielders in the world and we want to win the Champions League and being here, you would really make our team better. I know that, boss. I'm one of the best players in the world. I'm ready for this challenge if you're going to pay me right. Of course, that, that will do. We've just got big sponsors come in, but will you be able to compete with your little bro? Of course. Recently, Job said that he's better than me. I'm going to show him who's the boss, so let's get this done. We had to go through a couple of rounds of negotiations because Jude Bellingham is a bit of a businessman. He does love his money. And finally, we agreed to that deal. There you go. We've just signed Jude Bellingham. I'm sure Job is shaking in his boots right now. He cannot believe what we've just done. There you go, bro. This is jokes, man. We only just had Job Bellingham walking in the building a few seasons ago. Now we've got his older brother, the more established, the better version, the perfected player instead. This is his hilarious. I'm pretty sure the Christmas dinners at the Bellingham household is going to be very chaotic and intense th this season for sure. This is literally me after checkmating Job. What what's he going to do now? We've got his old better brother at our club. Bro, I feel like some sort of a villain here. But guys, it's now time for season 8. Next stop, season 8. Captain Berry is ready. It's time to play our first Premier League game in the season and I want to use our bubblegum kits. And that's our team for this one. Jude Bellingham is making his debut. Callum Berry starts as well. Let's do this. Okay, this is not a good start, but we've got McGinty in net, who literally saves everything. And here's Bellingham. I'm eager to see what he's all about, and I can tell you this. He is really quick and direct as he links up well with Vinicius. And now Bellingham putting it back inside. We lost the ball there, but early signs with Bellingham look good. Okay, this is a bit of a problem. We've been opened up here. Good stuff, Balde. Let's go. I know we need a new left back for squad depth, but there's no way I'm signing anyone that replaces Balde from being a starter. Now, Burns, Dara Burns through on goal. Oh, I thought that was going to be our first goal in the Premier League this season. Callum Berry with a bit of space going for goal. Oh my word. Brand new season and Callum Berry has just done that. Competition this season in midfield will be crazy. But if Callum Berry can keep popping those in, he might just end up be the one lifting the Champions League come end of season. Guys, just take a look at this from Berry. How did he even pull this off? What a goal. No, no, no. What a cutback. Fair enough. Our defense was completely opened up there. Villa are back in this. The thing is, this season, the big difference is we're the Premier League winners. So we've got a target on our back. Although we want to defend our title, every team will find it like extra motivation to try and just beat us. So it's not going to be easy defending the Premier League. Patterson looking for Machado. And they say he's the reason I'm a good manager. He's the reason we've won the Premier League. They keep saying that. And you know what? Maybe it's true because he keeps scoring goal after goal in game after game. 
game. That's another one for Martino Machado. Inside for Vinicius, and this could be a simple goal. Callum Berry getting his second of the night. Tell you what, this might be one of Berry's best ever performances in an S2 GFC shirt. Let's go. Free kick, and it's Machado time. I would love a Machado special. Ah, oh, that was close. And there you have it, boys. Full time, first Premier League game of the season. I thought Jude Bellingham did a good job holding that midfield, but we're going to see more from him for sure. But yeah, first game, Premier League win. I'll take that. Even though that win was awesome, we still need to focus on building a competitive squad for when the Champions League arrives. The truth is, we still need a new left back. A bit of depth for that fullback position, I think, could be clutch. So let's figure that out right now. But got to keep this signing under 50 million, though. Ian Matson, who currently plays at Southampton, seems like a really good player to play in that position. The question is, can we get him for a good price? Because I reckon he could be the perfect backup player for that left back role, but I want to get him for a decent price. Let's try 30 million. And the we just got kicked out. So Ian Matson might be currently out of our budget. Ooh, Tyrell Malakia, now 30 years old. Remember, we're like eight seasons into career mode. So a lot of players are super old. Malakia might be a solid option. Okay, now his contract's expiring. And you guys know there's nothing more than I like than seeing those few words. Contract expiring in 11 months. Brilliant. Negotiations were simple as well. There you go. We've just brought ourselves a new left back. Malakia will replace Emma the and give us that squad depth we need. And there you go, boys, with Malakia coming in. This team has got the squad depth it needs. We've now got one last test that is Arsenal in the Premier League before I think we can make a decision that, you know what, our squad is ready for the Champions League. Let's beat Arsenal. And after this game, we've got the Champions League group stage draw. If we can beat Arsenal by a big margin, I think we're ready for what's ahead. Oh, what a ball that is for Machado. Controls it really well. Oh, it's off the post. That would have been one hell of a goal. There goes Machado. Oh, back inside for Raul Lopez. Oh, there's the goal. What a finish from Raul Lopez. 1-0 up against Arsenal. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Silly defending once again. We do that in the Champions League. We're going to get crushed. Jude Bellingham in action. Lovely ball for Lopez. And Jude is making that run forward as well. Gets it back. Oh, I thought that was going to be his first goal. Oh, I see you. I see you, Machado. It's always him. It's always him. Martino Machado with the goal. Whenever he's scoring these days, the words of Joe Bellingham ring back in my head. What did he mean by that statement? We're nothing without Machado. Well, on the pitch he continues to deliver inside for Machado again you can't stop him you really can't stop him 3-1 job done yet another win for us in the Premier League that performance just confirms it for me. We're ready to tackle what's ahead in the Champions League. And so here we go. Champions League group stage draw has been made. Oh no. We've got Bayern Munich in our Champions League group. Are you joking? Ah, we're going to do everything possible to top this group. I think we're ready. But oh no. Oh no. What am I seeing? What am I seeing? Was this what Joe Bellingham meant? The transfer window is getting crazy. Real Madrid won Machado with a record breaking offer? No. Just as we had our team complete, could Machado betray us and join Real Madrid? We'll see what happens in the next episode. The journey to conquer the Champions League continues.